Cup third round weekend. Your memories on the FA Cup, obviously. You've well, I mean, twice. Uh, yeah, I suppose the, the one that would always be uh, in, in your particularly important is, and I saw it again on the television the other day, is the, a 1 0 victory at Nottingham Forest. Uh, going on to win the cup for the first time in Alex Ferguson's first trophy in Charles with Manchester United. We uh, remember being told that uh, Jimmy Hill had uh, said in the before the game that uh, we looked like a beaten team in the warm-up and we'd heard about that before the game and that gave us extra impetus in the game uh, and you'd have thought uh, that if it, the side that was chosen that day that uh, it was similar to the sides that uh, the Premier League and some of the Championship teams do now that they play a, a lot of squad players but that was the only players we had available to us. Uh, I was playing midfield probably for the first time in my Manchester United career uh, and Mark Robin scores a goal uh, and a 1-0 victory. Uh, on a Sunday, uh, and that started off uh, our, our cup run and gave us a, a relief from uh, the league, uh, in particular league form, which we were pretty poor really. Did you just win the FA Cup <clears throat> that season, or did it save um, Sir Alex's career? Nah, the, you never know about that, do you? but everyone from that period, uh, Martin Edwards in particular, who was the man responsible for hiring, firing, has consistently said that that wasn't necessarily going to be the case. Indeed, I just heard the other day that uh, a story from uh, uh, someone who was close to Sir Alex at the time and that Martin Edwards had said to him before the game, no matter what happens today, on Monday you will still be the Manchester United manager, which must have given him great uh, confidence in going into that particular game. You scored in a cup final uh, against Chelsea. If you don't score against Lincoln in the third round or Accrington in the third round, you don't get to do that at Wembley, do you? So they're, they're always important, everyone. Of course it is, yeah, and uh, my comment will, will never change. I was I was on the substitute bench in the in the final that day, uh, and uh, I got on for a short period of time, and Paul Ince, who should have actually had a shot himself, uh, rolled the ball across the, the goals where I, uh, I scored. But if you watch it carefully, I almost managed to miss it because it actually comes off my studs. And it, and it allowed me the, the, the experience of being it when asked after the match uh, what did I think about the game and I said well the manager had said that we were struggling at 3-0 and he decided to bring me and Lee Sharp on and uh, we changed the game and made it 4-0. So ultimately the FA Cup is still a fantastic cup for you. It's just you ask anyone that's won the FA Cup or scored an FA Cup final I believe they'll give you the same answer. If you can find anybody going back to the to uh, the early part of the last century or when the FA Cup first uh, became a, a competition, uh, and one of the one of the thrills that, that I recently have had is listening to Bill Shankly talking about the Liverpool never won the FA Cup, and they were in the second division at that particular time. But his main drivers was was to take a Liverpool team to Wembley and win the FA Cup.